this uh, model is another heat transfer model in Excel or also a diffusion model. It's called uh, Melting Snow Castle. You can start it from here. And it's essentially a snow castle which melts. Let's see how, uh, how we can uh, get it. Close this. Don't save it. If you come to my blog excelunusual.com and you can type snow castle it return in the search box and um, one result will come up is the melting snow castle a diffusion model application uh, click on the title and it will bring you to the post you can zoom in here you can see the thumbnail zoom out. Uh, the post has a quick uh, explanation of what the model contains and how to run it. You can download it from here. Click open. Allow. And this is it. Holding the control key down, you can roll the mouse wheel and you can zoom in or zoom out. Here are some equations I used. This model is fairly slow in 2007 or 2010. Actually, it's quite very slow. It 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 works. It still runs. But in 2005, in 2003 or earlier versions of itself, is fast. You can uh, hit start pause and uh, watch the mo the castle melting. You can uh, change the time step here. Let's stop this and increase the time step to 0.2. Reset. You see now is melting much faster, and um, if you wait enough, uh, the whole thing will disappear. Will go to zero. I mean, the, the whole, all the snow will be, will melt and be sucked into the ground. You can change these parameters: fluidity, I mean, snow fluidity, ground seepage, and uh, snow density. This being a diffusion or a heat transfer model, fluidity means uh, the heat conductance between neighboring elements. Ground heat seepage is the uh, heat conductance between uh, the rectangular plate and the uh, ambient. And snow density is heat capacitance. This is a 100 by 100 square plate. The simulation is done on this 100 by 100 square plate, and as I said, in 2007 or 2010, it's going to be very, very slow. Uh, the speed is mainly affected by the display of the, the 2D chart. Let's reset this and um, stop it. You can come here, click on this uh, castle here, and once you get these corners of the image. Of the of the plotted area selected, you can grab one of them and drag it. Okay, you see, and then now you can see the castle from a different angle. You can see it even from below if you want. See, this is a an Excel feature, Microsoft feature. So I'm just uh, showing you how to use it. It's nothing particular to do with this model. Is not uh, related to this particular model. When you do a 2D, when you plot anything in 2D, you have this option to to drag these corners, or you can do it by clicking here, 3D view, and uh, you know, clicking on various parameters or typing various parameters here. Okay, so. Uh, this is a model. I showed you how to download it, how to use it. It is essentially just a basic two-dimensional heat transfer model. Thanks for watching.